This is Long Live the Earth Queen! Last time on Korra, Doug Walker claimed that Avatar wasn't taking any risks. Now what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I say, the Earth Queen has failed you, Earth Kingdom! Now rise up and come up with a better plan than I had! <laughs> oh my, how the tables have turned! <laughs> it took long enough, but it's, yeah, wow! <laughs> It's well. What's so funny? Oh no! Oh yeah, I love this. No, well, it, well, well. Okay, well, let's be honest. It took long enough. Well, no, like, no. It's, it's like okay, because it's called building to something. Yeah, but no, we could have had this like two, three episodes ago. I mean, but it's it. He it's says crazy. not knowing how the next couple of episodes are. Okay, gonna go. no. It's like it's. I'm glad we finally have like something major going on. You know. Um, you know what? You always win, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eddie. <laughs> Even this episode, honestly, if you chopped off that ending, this would have been like all the other episodes. It's really, it's, oh, they get lost, now they have to put the ship back together, and oh, they're getting I'm a sorry. little closer. I mean, it's they, still good. They but... gave us freaking Shy Halud from Dune out in the dead. <laughs> they got a desert shark, a sand shark, a fucking land shark. They gave us a giant land shark, and you're like, yeah, whatever. They I got away. <laughs> it's, it's not until the ending where it's just like, holy shit. I mean, this... Well, I don't know what you were watching, but they had me at land shark. <laughs> so, for to re recap here, um, pretty much uh, Mako and uh, uh, Bolin, they're captured. They're being taken to the Earth Queen. And uh, Korra and... Oh, I forget her name. Um, Asami? Penis hair, yeah. Uh, they're captured too, penis but they, Yeah, she's from... Uh, she's from the last... Oh, oh okay, you know that? I get that. Yeah, no, I know that. I, <laughs> Which, the damn good... Well, no, damn I, sporting of you to For do some that. reason, I was thinking, like, in animated form. I'm like, when did she have in Korra? No, like, no. This is going really... I'm going to put this in automatic exposure because we, like, yeah, we are neon right out. now. Yeah, that's always that's always the one downside of doing it where we are is that like... I like how you're doing this live. Is this going to be edited out of the final product? No, no, it'll be in there. So, okay, that... I think that made it worse. Oh, well, hopefully the automatic exposure will catch on, but... Um, we'll just be glowing... Exactly we'll we'll just be glowing like we're on Krypton. Yeah, damn, okay. I'm going to put the exposure down because that's just going to drive me nuts. <laughs> so, sorry so people So is this like the making of, like, the behind the scenes. Like, <laughs> the behind making, the by scenes the way, is of really, Korra, really yeah. boring. It's a lot of just doing that, pushing buttons on your camera. <laughs> now watching that, now the like the lights get up. Oh, yeah, goes. there it goes, there it goes. So screw it. This is the setting. We'll do it live. <laughs> so um, yeah, so uh, but but Cora and uh, Penis Hair they escape and they uh, find a way to get along with you know kind of their captors, the Earth uh, Queen's people, and they're they're like okay like. We cool, we cool, you know, you guys go do whatever. And they meet up with Zuko, he's back in, and the dragon. Uh, they gave you Zuko and the dragon again at the end? Yes, but we had to wait a while for that. <laughs> but it's, but he's there, it's great. It's all coming together, it's uh, all part of the plan. I, I love the image of the dragon with the, uh, what was it, the two camels or horses or whatever, they're just like this, looking at the dragon. Um... And, uh, yeah, the, the biggie that we got is that the villains go to the Earth Queen, and pretty much just like kill her in a pretty savage way. Snuff her out like the obnoxious little flame that she is. It, it, it's <laughs> one holy of those, crap! It, it's one of those things where I, I'm watching and I was like, yeah, I can't believe no other Airbender ever thought. <laughs> like, I guess this is why they're so peaceful and all about the balance and everything. Because yeah, if that's like he's a the, dark Airbender. He's a Sith Airbender. Yeah, that's like the uh, that's like blood bending. That's like blood. Bending plus, like it just—I don't know why that never occurred to me. But it's like, yeah, you could just suck the oxygen out. It's—it's it's such a creepy idea, and to see it kind of happen, it's like, ooh, like you know, we—we we don't like the Earth Queen because she's a villain, but she's kind of comical. And I don't—I don't, I don't get what's stopping her though from the second she passes out, taking another breath in, because you've sucked the oxygen out. You can still breathe back in once it's sucked out, because I saw the air clearly go away, but, you know... Well, I'm sure he... We see her fall over, but I don't think we saw him stop or whatever. I mean, he could have just kept Xing it out until... Oh, no, like, the then we didn't see the scene where she's still breathing and he decides to feed her to the bear. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bear's cubs, the kids. It's their revenge, because she they're ate not the bear. Wait, wait, they're not... Duck bear comes or well, goat bear comes? No, no, just 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 bears. a bear. No, just a bear. Um, so yeah, things are finally they're going now, and we got this big uh, rebellion going on, and it, it is kind of you know Dark Knight Rises, I guess, uh, and we'll see where that goes. But yeah, now it's like 
dude, like, what's, what's gonna happen? I'm like, whereas before it's like, I like it, it was good, but there's never this, ooh, 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 what's, can't wait for the next episode. Now it's like, I'm really, really hyped for this. Now um, are you happy? Yes, yes I am. Would have liked it was a few episodes earlier, but you know, it's, it, I'm happy. Oh, when? When? Well, it, it'll be interesting to see what they do with it, too. I mean, because they, like I said, they don't have that many left. I mean, they only have a couple left. So I'm curious to see what this all kind of uh, builds to. And it's. We haven't really seen something quite like that yet uh, here. It's been, and the Earth Kingdom is the perfect place to do it because there was so much repression. You know, not, not, not just. Uh, you know, this generation, but generations before, so this seems like oh, the it's perfect going, place. Oh, it's going down like Iraq. Yeah, I, like, I, this is the perfect place I, to I see have this, what'll happen. I have this theory that it's, like, just gonna be total chaos, because you've had this repressive regime, and now it's just like, well, nobody's running the show, so it's like a free-for-all. <laughs> and then I will kill them all! How does that make any sense? It just does! Long live Ra's al Ghul! And I... I Beaten on that movie wrong, way too much. I'm movie. sorry. I'm sorry. I've beaten on that film way too long. It's a time to get past. Time to move on. But I had to edit in the top eleven trailers. It was so stupid. Okay. So pick up um, more recent things. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. There we go. <laughs> How can we connect that to Korra? That, that that's like our two that we'll never let go. I'll never let go of Dark Knight Rises. You'll never let go of Man of Steel. And we'll just love to see the fans bicker and fight <laughs> whenever we mention it. It's like dance, stuff, it's dance. So anywho. Uh, <laughs> It's, so no, this was, uh, I mean, it, it's a good episode, it, it's, again, it was kind of the same balance of the other episodes until it got to that ending where it suddenly just took a big leap into holy shit territory. I'm waiting for the moment when Bolin can finally metal bend. I, that was a pretty good fake out. I thought, okay, this time he's definitely going to do it. Like, he's got this now. Yeah, all and the then, other doors open. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm no, like, that was good. <laughs> okay, no, because I thought they were going to do it, and I love that line. It's like, Bolin, stop trying to make friends with the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, again, some, some good laughs in it. Um, and yeah. let's be honest, the Earth Queen had it coming. No, she... It's like, yeah, but they still made her kind of, you know, even though she was mean and evil, she was kind of goofy as well. And so I really would not have guessed they would have killed her off. I, I think they would have... I thought they would have made it even more If you're going to kill off one character sinister. outside of, you know, the four bending villains, it, it's her. Who else were you going to... No, no, it's a fact that if they were going to kill... Again, for primarily a, a show on Nickelodeon, I no think... A family picture. Snuff the air at <laughs> I, I don't think they would have done... Um, they would have made her comical, you know, uh... But which yeah, I'll but she was comical, comical in no, an no, insane, and, and crazy yeah. bitch way. Yeah, yeah, like it's it was more of like <laughs> I don't know how to say this. It's like yeah, it was comical, but also like a comma in a comically way. I'm like I want to see her dead. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, I just hated her so much. Yeah, I'm not gonna quote miss her you know because it's like well okay she's now. like this sort of character on a reality tv show you can't wait to get voted off uh -huh. but uh but yeah, I, I didn't think they would go that route because that is and like, she got voted off with her life <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah it, it was a it was a pretty disturbing death scene like it's not it's well, not like bloody, the eyes it's not were, gory, the but eyes were bulging yeah. out like something out of total recall like <laughs> Well, and usually the way they get away with that stuff in uh, in kid shows is that they can do it, but then like they don't really die or they come back, because that's always the way out. The parent can say, "No, no, it's okay. They don't really die." Back. But no, it's like they they went all the way, and that was it was. I, I thought at first that it was actually a fake out because it cut away after. I thought it was it. too. I really and then I was just like, be. "Oh my god!" I mean, well, I mean. I guess technically. Who knows? I mean, be, technically but... they could bring her back. You know what, though, if they do that, I'm just saying. No balls. I'm like, no, just make sure she's gone. I don't know. I like, I couldn't see in the story or anything how... Like, I can't the either. I'm just saying that. I don't know yeah. why they would. I'm just saying it's theoretically possible because we don't see the body. Yeah. <laughs> but, so... <laughs> it's like, they kind of shown enough. It's the next thing. They, like, drag her body, put her head on a spike like Game of Thrones. <laughs> no, it's that, dark. that'll be the next, like, uh... Avatar comic, it'll be like, you know, you had the search for Zuko's mother, now it's the search for the Earth Queen. It's like, where did she go? It's such a mystery. Oh, there's a part of her here, a part of her there, <laughs> a part of her up there, and a little there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, uh, Korra's still great. Um, 
you know, I love I, when I, I love when the that sand shark or whatever is about to eat them and they're practically in there and she gets them out. There's so few times where you see her get the people out and I love Asami's intricate knowledge of engineering and her competitors mm. to such a way that she's like, no, chain me to the wall. And then she's like, no, I know these things are designed dirt cheap. You get what you pay for. Yeah. There's like a message <laughs> in that. And it's like, this is a cheap piece of crap, you know, flying crap. It's like, watch this. And then I love it. There's some line too where she rips up something else. And she's like, man, these things really are cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was a great scene. Um, I thought Bolin was funny. Um, Trying to think what else that happened. I just. It, it, it's, it's just the ending. The ending yeah, is it's a big just, part. It's getting real. Yeah, I can't wait to see where they go from here. Um, so, is she like. That's the question. Is like, Korra going to restore order to the Earth Kingdom? Are they going to elect a new leader? I, it sounded like there were riots in the streets, so. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I'm, I'm, Will I'm the really villains curious. realize, oh, maybe like. This wasn't a good idea because now people are killing each other, or will they just be like, "Well, I gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet." Yeah, no, that that's kind of yeah. my thought. Is they just be like, "No, no, this is you it's know." It's a cleansing. It's the purge. Yeah, I mean that. It kind of sounds like that's what they're leaning to. I mean, because they, can't, I don't think they could have gone into this thinking like, you know, whoa, I didn't think this was gonna happen. I thought we were gonna be greeted as liberators, and you know, because that totally doesn't match reality at all. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, we had to go down that road. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, it's a real good episode. It's a good start to where the hell is this going to go. And uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I can't wait for the next one. Yeah, there's not much, there's really not much else to say just because it's a giant question mark at the moment. If you're like, what do you have to say? What do you have to say? I'm like, well, it's awesome. But apart from that, not much because this part of the story just kind of started. I'm like... I don't know where you go from here. I can't wait to find out, but... Yeah, no, I'm like... Whereas before, I was liking it, but I was, like... I was missing that kind of passion of what's gonna happen in the next one. Now it's like, I... I'm really excited. They I played really you like a me. harp from hell. <laughs> <laughs> I Like, you said that literally the episode before everything goes down. Yeah, I mean, it's just... It's... I... Again, I, I shouldn't judge the whole the, thing. Right at the exact moment that you're just like, I'm wanting something. Then... They give it to you. I I was saying that several episodes back though. So oh, you but, were. You just yeah, said last episode. No, I I, I said I said is it getting a formula? But I was saying before all I was right, missing a little bit. Flip the camera around. Is. Let's turn on the computer and watch all of the past episodes. No, because I don't like watching us, particularly you. Well, I don't like watching you either. Really, you went all Princess Diaries too, on Yes, me. which is amazing. <laughs> we just, is it, we is just it not the watched... most amazing Disney sequel ever? So I had a computer virus on my machine, so I didn't get to watch Korra. I just got my machine back. I didn't get to watch it till pretty much this morning. It's Wednesday morning. And, um, yeah, so I watched it, and then he came over, and we watched Princess Diaries 2 for the NC. And there's a scene where I swear to God... Anne Hathaway steps on Chris Pine's toes and then storms off and goes, Hoomph! And it's like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, that's, What do you say to that? Like, I'm like, I don't think I've seen a scene like that in a movie since 1952. Like, a cartoon maybe could get away with that, but. The, the, this is totally like. This is it, off topic. Yeah, it, just, it's totally off topic. I'm just saying, I don't. It, did you not have people like, who say so, the comedy in Korra is bad? Watch the Princess Diaries. Did, did you too. not have? Um, isn't that one of the most entertainingly bad? Well, it's like two hours, but it felt like just an hour long because we were we had like a line per minute. It was it's like, amazing. This is gonna be like the most edited down episode because there is so there is, much. There so is a many point notes. in this movie where they hit such a low, such desperation that two maids, as a distraction, sing Frere Jaca and put giant pots on their head like literally dance around with giant pots on their head take them off and then clang them together clang and then smile and I lost it for 10 minutes I'm like I have to see yeah. that again that was the funniest thing I've ever seen it's just so sad so desperate it's it's one of the great comedies for the exact opposite reasons they had intended um it's if we can't make like a hilarious review out of that like but to connect it to Cora. If you think Bolin is bad, watch Princess Diaries too. You'll realize that, you know, Bolin is... <laughs> what, what an ad for the show. <laughs> if you thought Bolin was bad, watch Princess Diaries 2. Cut the Family Guy clip. <laughs> Am I insulting Korra or Princess Diaries 2 then? I don't know. But... <laughs> 
Yeah, but, it, bottom line, it's a good episode. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And check out Princess Diaries 2. Either the movie or our review, whatever. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Wow, we totally derailed this. Sorry. <laughs>